Okay, so I just made this loop to use to illustrate on this video. So if you've seen, uh, most of you guys on the channel asked me to do the track spacer video for FL Studio because I did the last one on um, Cubase. Then if you've not seen it, you also see it here. And any video I link on the card, you could also see it at the end at the, um, on the description. So do well to also check them out because you'll see a lot of videos that will help you. Welcome to the channel of Vicky Melody here. So let's head right into it. And if you've seen the other one, stick right and watch this one to the end because there were some stuff, I, there was something I skipped on that one that I'm going to be showing you how to implement the track spacer for it to work perfectly for you. So let's head into the system and get it done. And if you've not subscribed. Okay, so um, I have um, I have this loop here, which I'm sending, I'm going to be sending it to Mixer Channel 1. And because it's important to have your, your sound separated, you understand? And I have um, this, um indian voice i use them um, to create vocals because i didn't have i didn't have time to go and look for recorded vocals to do the example but then i think this one is still going to give you it's still the same thing still going to work as um, i'm using it as my vocal so i'm going to be sending it to to the mixer channel too so i have the both of them playing so it's easier to do side chaining in Cubase, but FL Studio has some some ways around it. But then it's still it's still either way any DAW you use as long as you understand how the DAW works, then it, it will give you your desired um, desired result. So on since um, we want to use the vocal the vocals per se to attenuate the frequencies of um, or to compress the drums so we add the track spacer on the drums we add the track space on the drums so we come to this this channel where we want to be sending the signal into our track spacer which our track spacer is loaded here so we just come here and do side chain to this track so you see that some information is now going into our instrumental track <laughs> So when I play, nothing happens. So what I'm going to do here now is come to the track spacer um, plugin, go to this setting here, go to processing. Then on the side chain, you select your vocal, which is um, my contact um, sampler. So that's what I'm using here. So I come back to the plugin now. See so that the the contact sampler, the vocal per se, is now affecting and bringing down the volume of our beat. So you now see, so what the trick, how to get this thing to work perfectly is to come to this bar here, then switch it from the stereo. This is the stereo. You don't want to be attenuating your stereo image. Just work on the middle. So I'll choose mid side, then I'll, I'll now go to 100% middle. So that anything that is affecting will be on the middle. It will not affect the stereo image. So then I come back and now tell the plugin to um, ignore the low frequency where my kick and bass is, and also a little bit of the high. Ignore it. Just concentrate on the middle where the vocal is present. Then I'll just turn down the amount. Understand? Turn down the amount. So mostly, sometimes about three percent, four percent is good enough. <laughs> So that's how you quickly get it done in FL Studio. So, so our vocal mixing template is just I'm 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 already done with it. I'm just trying to test it out to make sure that it sounds good on every um, almost every vocal. So I'll be dropping vocal mixing templates for Cubase Five, Cubase Ten, FL Studio. So do well to subscribe and wait for it. It's gonna be dropping very soon so be creative and remain creative vicky melody here once again and says peace out